This here is a little tree about maybe eight or nine feet, eight or nine feet tall. You can probably see some yellow paint here and a mark here, no bark there. It was actually growing up in between the arms of a tractor on the front of a loader. So the tractor has been sitting there a while and this tree started growing up. Like I said, it's not an old tree, it's only maybe eight maybe eight or nine feet tall if you include the if you include all this so I don't like cutting down living trees unless unless there's a reason and this one was kind of a problem growing in the tractor there and I figured I killed two birds with one stone because um, somebody important in my life is having a birthday soon and they said they wanted a tree a coat tree and I wasn't really sure what a coat tree was. I think that's what I, I think that's what it's called. But anyway, I looked it up, and it's just like a standing coat rack, basically. And some of them look like a tree, but the ones that I seen, they looked more like industrial. So I was thinking about turning this into a birthday present. I really like this because it has staggered branches that go this way and that way and they're in groups so they could be like coat hooks in my imagination. So I think I'm going to start here and cut the top somewhere here because these should be strong enough if I shorten them up they should be strong enough to and if not I'll start at the top because even if they're not strong enough I can always shorten that. So, and then they'll be stronger. I think they'll be stronger down is because the stalk gets bigger and the branches get older. So, this might be a good place to start if you want stronger ones. There's one, two, three, four on that level. And then there's like probably four or more on this level. Then there's stronger ones further down. So, I think I'm going to start at the, cut the weakest get rid of the weakest link here this will be the the main the main branch or the main part of the tree so I think I'll shorten it up there well I went and cut a bunch a bunch off I left them I tried to leave them at least I don't know a few inches a few inches long all of them for now so this is a big branch off of a young tree and all the new growth occurs at the tips of course and these are the buds these little red these all these little nubs those are the buds that come on in the springtime springtime here now and they will sprout into leaves and leaves and buds and stuff. So I don't like cutting down a living tree, but like I said, it was growing in between the in between a tractor and uh, yeah, it was growing right up through the arms of the tractor. So I'm going to turn this problem into a solution, hopefully. See that yellow paint right there? That's what color the tractor is. <laughs> it was growing right up between the frame of the tractor and the arms. So there's a scar there. I like that. That adds character, but I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this much all the way down here. This is what I've got from the top end. A uh, bunch of short things that should be strong enough. But seems like there's quite a few spots here cut the tree down by hand with a bow saw like this here but there's so many branches that and this blade is really rough so I didn't want to do all the branches with this so let's this saws all here with a metal blade on it. It's got finer teeth, so it's a little bit easier on the branches, and it's a little bit easier on me too because there's so many branches. 
Now that I got all the branches off of it, I want to get it up off the ground. The branches were basically holding it up off the ground before, but I've cut all the branches off it now. I like the way it's I like the way it's turning out. I think that's pretty cool. But I'm not sure it's way too long, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that off or cut the bottom off. The top is not flimsy, but I don't know. It's way too long, so I either got to cut the top off or the bottom or maybe a little bit of both. It's a hard decision to make because the top has or the bottom has some cool character and it's uh, almost 11 feet long so it's bigger than I thought I think I figure I'm gonna cut it like right at this armpit or up here somewhere that'll give me a nice straight shank to drill a hole into my base and put it down in my base and that'll give me uh, I think that gives me six feet or a little better than six feet from here up and that gives me lots of hooks and I really like this top one I'm gonna try to keep it so and I'm gonna try to make it extra long just in case just in case I don't keep it but there's lots more so I think that's gonna be the spot there I guess some tools just work better for some jobs than others. Wow, what have I done? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I think it's about six and a half feet long now, or maybe maybe even seven feet long now. But yeah, that's the new compact. I cut the bottom off, left myself a good shank here for mounting it to a base and there's not too many branches in the way there or anything but there's lots of branches here for hanging hanging stuff on I do believe oh my goodness how come you're so sexy oh take the stormtrooper trailblazer for a tour Look at that, no check engine light, awesome, and it's like, I didn't even delete it that after doing the, after putting the spark plugs in, I didn't even delete the code, so it, everything's good to go there, changed spark plugs, cleaned out the throttle body, seems to be better, I'm going to take it for a rip and go get some grub. Well, I found a couple of pretty big blocks, so they're pretty substantial, and uh, I've been having a hard time deciding which one to use. Uh, this one has a spot right here that's a little bit soft, but I think it's just a little bit damp, so I was a little bit worried about that, but... I think when it's nice and dry and cured, I think it'll be nice and solid. This one here's got lots of cracks in it. They both have a couple of They both have a couple of holes. This one has probably has more holes in it than the other one does. But this one has a lot of character. 
This one's got, I think that's tree bark. I don't know, but this thing is it's pretty, pretty big chunk. And it's growing right into the grains, and the grains are really crazy. And it's totally eccentric. These two are sitting on top of another one, so you have to disregard that, but this one has a lot of character. It does have a couple of couple of holes in it also. I really like this one. Then it's got this I think it's where the tree bark comes together from like two different trunks or whatever. And this was actually a tree that I remember, it was like the biggest shade tree around here for probably, I don't know, probably longer than, a lot longer than I've been around here. And then uh, the tree died, so this is part of that tree. And uh, yeah, a lot of good memories about that tree. <laughs> it was a good old tree. But um yeah, I think I think this might be the one. I don't know. Well, I think I've got it level. I checked it on uh, a couple different axes. She's pretty pretty darn close to level right there. So now I'm going to take the tree part, or the post, the vertical part, and level it up, mock it up, and then I have to drill my hole on a little bit of an angle, so I have to figure that out. Well, I delivered the coat tree, and I think she liked it. So, mission accomplished. Happy birthday, Mom. And, uh, took the Trailblazer for a good try, good drive today. Over 100 kilometers. Transmission seems to be good on it. Um, it definitely needs an alignment, I would say. Uh, I mentioned, uh, the Firebird and possibly starting it up. But I forgot that the transmission's on there now, and there's no fluid in the transmission, and there's no tail stock on the transmission, and there's no transmission lines, so I'll probably have to get the, at least some fluid in it and the lines sealed up before I can do that. I read a couple comments today on one of my older videos, and one of them says, oh, you talk too much. The video is too long, blah, blah, blah. And that's true. That's true. Thanks for the input. My old videos, I used to talk a lot and I didn't know how to edit. Actually, a lot of my older videos aren't edited at all. So I edit a lot of that out now. And uh, I understand that when a video is so long and people have short attention spans nowadays. <laughs> so for the um, coat tree I was going to show you how I drilled the hole in the base and talk about how I was going to do it but I just did it I just drilled a hole in the base using a stepper bit and a hole saw and yeah, honestly it took a few it took a few steps to get it uh, bored out using those two bits deep enough and big enough but yeah I just drilled the hole and stuck it in there. It's kind of a tapered fit. There's no glue, no screws. It just jams in there tight with a little bit of a taper. And it seems to work good. 